After 82 test cases, New York's reign as champions was truly on the line. And first to have a crack at it in the quarterfinals were the Atlanta Hawks. Atlanta had played sporadically in the first half of the season, but mainly because of the improvement of rookie Pete Maravich, number 44, they finished exceptionally strong. The series evolved into a ballet of cat and mouse between the young offensive sensation Maravich and New York's brilliant defensive ace, Walt Frazier. Through five games, Frazier hounded Maravich until he finally surrendered the ball to his teammate, Walt Hazard. But wherever Atlanta went, the Knicks followed with the defense that carried them so far. Now it was Bill Bradley on Lou Hudson. And then Reed on Walt Bellamy. Once on offense, Frazier showed the rookie one of the finest moves of this or any other season. The rest that New York's superior bench had provided during the latter part of the season was paying off. And Atlanta managed to beat the Knicks only once. Particularly inspiring was the mobility of Willis Reed. As Reed goes, so seem to go the Knicks. Big number 19 has been slowed recently by sore knees and a sore hip. Now on the last play, as the Knicks were wrapping up their fifth and final victory over Atlanta, Reed injured his shoulder in a freak collision with Walt Bellamy. New York, with an injured Willis Reed, now had to get by Baltimore before the showdown against Milwaukee came about. For Atlanta, the season was over.